this is your first video with me, welcome! I invite you to subscribe to my channel. This is the second video in my series with Darlene from Darlene Designs. We are doing collaboration where I start a, a focal point and sentiment piece and I'm going to send it to her and then she's going to finish it off. A couple days ago we did the same thing so be sure to hop over to my blog. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is below. We're going to work with little stitch stars and glitter and ink and make a little bit of a mess but have a lot of fun in the process. So meet me at the stamp table and we'll get started. I'm using the Lil Inker Stitch Stars die and a coordinating stamp set. And I've already wiped this down with the anti-static tool so that I don't get embossing powder in places I don't want it. I'm stamping the Today You're the Star sentiment and then we'll go ahead and cover it with clear embossing powder. When heating clear embossing powder on white, it's kind of tricky to see. You're going to want to hold it up to the light and watch for that powder to turn shiny and then you know it's done. When you're finished, you're going to want to let it cool down for a second. I have a little spray bottle here and I'm going to want to wet down my circle so that the ink can move and I'm using a palette of blues and purple. <laughs> this is Bermuda Bay and it's a greenish blue and I just love it. It's one of my favorite colors. And the wetter your paper, the more that ink is in color is going to travel. So if you like the kind of tie-dye-ish look, go ahead and soak that paper down. Make sure you're using a good watercolor paper. Add some purples in here. All right, so when you have enough color on there, and you're satisfied, you can either let it air dry or you can zap it with a heat tool. I kind of like adding the heat tool to it because sometimes you'll get fun watermarks in there and also you can move the color around a little bit more. You can see right in here what I'm talking about with watermarks. It gets like that crispy edge and I think it looks really cool. And then if you're not happy with the results, you can always add more. You can see I did another one. I was kind of practicing. So they do look different and it's kind of fun. It's you get different looks every time you try. You never quite know what you're going to end up with. The next thing I'm going to do is cut a star right out of this watercolor circled piece. And the cool thing about these dies is you can see when I pull this off, it does like a double stitching. So they're stitching around the positive and the negative die cut. And this watercolor paper is pretty thick and it didn't quite get all the way through, so I'll just take my scissors in here and finish cutting out that little piece there. Now, a star card needs glittery stars, right? But what if you don't have the same color glitter as what's on your card? Well, you can custom dye your stickles or dazzling details. This is a Stampin' Up! product right here. I have a clear block and I'm just touching it on my ink pad and then I'll add dazzling details here and then I'm going to mix it around. And you can see how the, the uh, glitter glue or stipples or dazzling details, whatever you're using, turns the color of your ink pad. Isn't that awesome? I'm just going to take my star and I'm going to dip it right straight on top of there. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. You're going to get a little bit messy. And if you don't mind using your finger, actually that works a little bit better. Now you may be wondering why not just punch out the star or whatever embellishment you're using in a colored cardstock and add the dazzling details or stickles on top and you certainly can do that. I'll show you the difference. This is a more bold look and this is a little bit more transparent kind of dreamy watercolored look. So it is totally up to you and the, the uh, look that you're going for. I'll hold that up so you can see it a little bit better. I'll be adding this circle to another circle so that basically this becomes a little window and I want that to be glittery. So I'm going to use the same technique with the rich Razzleberry ink pad and some dazzling details. We'll dye that. And then you can just take this and smush it right on top. 
And then if you're not worried about it, you can smush it around your, with your finger to get it more even and make sure it's going to give good coverage when you add that. All right, so we'll let that dry. One more way to add color is just to take a bottle of reinker and add it straight to that glittered star or whatever shape you have. And this gives you such a dark, vibrant color. Now here is a close-up view of this Knight of Navy star, which I think looks awesome. So it's messy, but it's fun, and it's a great way to custom dye sparkly embellishments. So just a couple different fun ways to use this technique. I've added a bunch of dimensionals to the back so I can attach these two circles together and we'll get a nice dimension between the top circle and the glittered star. I've glittered and colored several different stars and I thought I might attach this Knight of Navy one, but I think I may just add a couple in the envelope that I send to Darlene and let her choose what she wants to use. And I wanted to show you on this one. This one is Pacific Point, and this is one difference that you can get with using the white cardstock with the ink because this is the Bermuda Bay cardstock that I showed you and you can see it's a very different look and I love this star here because it looks watercolored itself so it's just a really cool effect messy but cool so leave me a comment here on YouTube and let me know if you will try this even though it's so messy and be sure to hop over to Darlene's channel link is below and see what she did with this fun stuff I can't wait to see thank you so much Darlene for participating with me and thanks to you for watching have a wonderful day and happy stamping <laughs>